Welcome, welcome to your Money Miracles video for the week of November 21st, just back from the Gaylord Palms Hotel in Orlando, Florida. I'll tell you more about that in a second. So first of all, if you just joined me on my journey, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I am so grateful for you joining me on my journey and and watching these videos and getting these emails. And I wanna move you to financial freedom quickly. You may know that my mission is to help at least 100,000 people become financially free and I'd love you to be one of them. So feel free to sign up for your free 30 minutes of prosperity coaching. The link will be below this video. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are more than 700 videos I've recorded, now including many YouTube shorts that are just a minute long. And you can get some great financial freedom techniques and tips from each of those videos. So binge on them, and I will guarantee you, you will move to financial freedom quicker than if you're binging on Netflix or Amazon Prime. And I'm also really excited that you may know I just came back from this week-long retreat in Orlando, Florida with Dr. Joe Dispenza, week-long intensive. So would you like to get the highlights of the week? If you're a past or a current client, I will share with you a few of the more than 50 pages of notes I took over the seven days. Just email with me with Dr. Joe. Now, if you're not a current or past client, I'm going to give you an incentive to actually get those notes in just a few minutes, if you really want them. So let's talk about you. What's your first money memory? Think about it. My next webinar is next Tuesday, Giving Tuesday, November 28th, and I am giving it away totally for free. And I'm really excited to be teaming up with a certified infinite possibilities trainer and trailblazer and EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique Specialist, Carolyn Clark. She's also a life coach and a registered counselor. And we're going to be talking about how your early childhood memories have helped create the life you now currently have. And this will be a highly interactive webinar and you will create practices that you can use for the rest of your life that will change you. You'll need to register in advance. I put the link below this video. It's at 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Again, next Tuesday, the 28th. And oh, again, if you want an inset added incentive to come to the webinar, if you register, attend live. You have to attend it live, not the recording. And stay for the full hour. You will get my highlights of the Dr. Joe Dispenza retreat, that one week retreat. As promised, I'm sharing with you my favorite affirmations in these emails going forward. Here is this week's affirmation from Lizzo's song special. In case no one told you today, you're special. In case no one made you believe you're special. I will always love you the same because you're special. I am so glad you're still with us. Yes, you're special. So let's talk about some past and upcoming events. I'm opening up the Money Miracles membership to new members this week. This is the membership in which we have a community sharing their money miracles, investing ideas, manifestations, and money mindset shifts. I personally recorded over seven hours worth of videos for you to watch over a six month period to move you to financial freedom. And we have another 21 guest experts providing their own abundance and prosperity content. And I've now included the whole infinite possibilities course for you as well. We'll be meeting weekly to create money miracles and answer your questions. And members have now manifested over $1,742,000. Now, prices are going up in January, so you have about a month to sign up at the still current 2023 prices. If you want to learn more, I put the link below the video and in the email. Did I mention my free webinar? The free webinar 
is on November 28th at 4.30 p.m. Pacific, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, I did. Okay. So remember, you need to register in advance. I'll put, I put the link below this video and in the email. Also, did you miss my financial freedom series on the Rich Mind podcast with Randy Wilson? I, we recorded 13 episodes going through each of the nine money rules millionaires use my second book. You can find the episodes on Randy's various channels, but we are working on packaging them into a very low price course, which you could use at your own leisure. If you're interested, respond to uh, put a put your uh, respond to the email if you're watching this from the email with NMR for nine money rules, or if you're watching this just on my YouTube channel, comment below NMR and I will get you the information when it's ready. And finally, I was accepted to be interviewed by the geeky grandma. Jill McCarthy. This awesome podcast interview will go live in December. I'll give you the link when I have it. So each week I highlight a member of my network. This week it's Mark Coscarello. Mark is a human capital business strategist. He started an IT staffing solutions firm seven years ago, and he's built out four tech stacks for clients partnering with chief information and chief technology officers. Most recently, he launched a startup residential solar sales business that operates in multi multiple states. So I'll put the link to reach out to Mark below this video, and it'll also be in the email. Now, each week I'm highlighting the book I read this past week. This week, I'm highlighting The Essential Gandhi, an autobiography by Mahatma Gandhi. There's so much wisdom in this book. I highly recommend it. So here's a few quotes. To see the universal and all-pervading spirit of truth face-to-face, -face, one must be able to love the meanest of creation as oneself. And a man who aspires after that cannot afford to keep out of any field of life. That is why my devotion to the truth has drawn me into the field of politics and, those, and that those who say that religion has nothing to do with politics do not know what religion means. This was from the preface. Gandhi was right. The body might be frail, but the spirit was boundless. We were much, much stronger than we had thought, capable of great things, not because we were great, but because there was divinity in us all, even those who swung the clubs and wielded the guns. The purpose of life is undoubtedly to know oneself. We cannot do it unless we learn to identify ourselves with all that lives. The sum total of all life is the universe, God. The instru instrument of this knowledge is boundless, selfless service. Do not undertake anything beyond your capacity, and at the same time, do not harbor the wish to do less than you can. One who takes up tasks beyond his power is proud and attached. <clears throat> On the other hand, one who does less than he can is a thief. Happiness, the goal to which we all are striving, is reached by endeavoring to make the lives of others happy. And if by renouncing the luxuries of life we can lighten the burdens of others, surely the simplification of our wants is a thing greatly to be desired. If man were so placed or could so place himself as to be absolutely above all dependence on all fellow beings, he would become so proud and arrogant as to be a veritable burden and nuisance to the world. Dependence on society teaches him the lesson of humanity. A man cannot become self-sufficient even in respect of all the various operations from the growing of cotton to the spinning of the yarn. He has at some stage or other to take the aid of the members of his family. And if one may take help of one's own family, why not from one's neighbors? Or otherwise, what is the significance of the great saying, the world is my family? I suggest the following for civil disobedience, which e every even one man can offer. Let a batch or one person march on foot to the government house and walk on to the point where he or she is stopped. There, let him or her stop and demand the release of the detainees or his or her own arrest. To preserve intact the civil nature of the, of the disobedience, the satigrahi must be wholly unarmed and in spite of insults, kicks or worse, 
must meekly stand the ground and be arrested without the slightest opposition. He may carry his own food in his pocket, a bottle of water, take his Gita, Koran, Bible, as the case may be. If there are many such real satyagrahis, they will certainly transform the atmosphere in an immensely short time. War is wrong is an unmitigated evil. I know, too, that it has got to go. I firmly believe that freedom won through bloodshed or fraud is no freedom. Birth and observance of forms cannot determine one's superiority, superiority and inferiority. Character is the only determining factor. God does not create man with men with the badge of superiority or inferiority. No scripture with labels a human being as inferior or untouchable because of his or her birth cannot command our allegiance. It is a denial of God and truth, which is God. It is blasphemy to say that God set apart any portion of humanity as untouchable. Note, Gandhi is referring to those Hindus of the lowest cat class, which were required by, the, by some at his time to not be touched by another human being. So thanks for watching. I believe in you.